Welcome Vora Riders. Today we're back with another video tutorial and we'll be showing you how to use all of the functions on your brand new i4 display. This includes showing you how to access all of the P settings and what each one does specifically. Make sure you stick around for the full video, that way you can learn how to make adjustments on your brand new display. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's start by turning on the i4 display by holding down the power button. This is how the i4 will generally look once turning on the display. However, it's possible that there may be other display codes you will see based on your scooter settings and condition. Now, let's go over the functionality of the display. Starting with the power button, as you know, you simply hold that down for roughly two to three seconds to power it either off or on. You can also adjust the speed gears by quickly pressing down the power button. To the right of that, there's also your set button. If you long press and hold the set button, it will enter or exit eco mode. You can also switch between battery voltage and battery percentage to be displayed by quickly pressing the set button. The last button you will see is your mode button. If you long press and hold the mode button, this will take you to your P settings where you can make further adjustments to your scooter. If you quickly press the mode button, this will switch between the time clock and the odometer being displayed. Now let's dive further into the P settings by holding down your mode button. There are a total of 18 P settings which all have multiple different functionalities. First we'll start with P1 which is your kickstart. This function prevents the scooter from being accelerated by the throttle. You would need to push your scooter along to start the acceleration first. This is defaulted to be off but it will appear as PAS on the screen when it's on. To change this function, simply press the set button to switch. Keep in mind that the setting will lock in if you continue selecting mode through the other settings. Or you can just press and hold the mode button down to exit to the main screen. P2 is for soft or hard acceleration. This function allows you to control how quick your scooter will respond to the throttle being engaged. The values can be changed from 0 to 5 by selecting the set button. 0 will be the fastest and 5 will be the slowest. P3 is for your electronic braking. This function allows you to control the amount of strength for the electronic braking. The values can be changed from 0 to 5 by selecting the set button. 0 will be the fastest option and 5 will be the slowest. P4 is your ABS. ABS is short for Anti-Lock Braking System which purpose is to reduce the effects of stopping suddenly. Using ABS causes the scooter to shake roughly when the brakes are engaged. We advise keeping this setting off unless you're a very experienced rider who prefers this option to be on. P5 is your battery saver. This function is to control how much overall output you would like from your battery. These values can be changed from 1 to 3 by selecting the set button. 1 would save you more battery and 3 would not save you any of your battery. P6 is your max output. This function is used to control the max speed percentage the scooter uses. These values can be changed from 5 to 100 by selecting the set button. 5% would be the least output and 100% would be the max output. But of course, you can set it to your liking. P7 is your passcode lock. This function allows you to control whether you would like a passcode required when powering on your scooter. This is defaulted to be off. To turn it on, you will have to press the set button to change it, and then confirm your choice by pressing the power button. Once you press the power button, the numbers on the left will be flashing until you enter the passcode which is defaulted to be four zeros. Now go ahead and press the power button to confirm it. When the letter P is displayed back on the top of the screen, that means the passcode lock option has been enabled when you power on your scooter. Now let's power off and on your scooter. Once it's back on, it's going to prompt you for the passcode, which again is defaulted to four zeros. After you confirm the passcode by pressing the power button, you will be able to unlock your scooter. Next is your P8 setting, which is to change your passcode. To change your passcode, you will have to press the power button. Once the center of the screen displays one at the top, it's going to ask you for your current passcode, which is still defaulted to four zeros. Let's go ahead and press the power to confirm this. Next, the center of your screen will display the number two at the top. This is where you can enter your new passcode. To change the numbers to the passcode of your choice, you will have to press the set button to change the number and then the mode button to move to the next number beside it. In this case, we'll go ahead and set it to one, two, three, four for our passcode. Once your new passcode is displayed on the screen, you can confirm it by pressing the power button. Then the center of the screen will display the number three at the top where you will be required to re-enter your new passcode created. Simply re-enter your four digit passcode, press the power button to confirm it, and then the passcode change is successful. Now let's quickly test it out. Once you power your scooter back on, it should prompt you to enter your new passcode you just set. 
Enter your new passcode and then press the power button to unlock your scooter. If you wish to turn off the passcode option, you can do this by going back to the P7 setting and changing this back to off. Moving on to P9, this will be your safe mode. This function is to control the amount of time before your scooter will automatically turn on the safe mode feature. The values of the setting can be changed in increments of 10 seconds up to 300 seconds by pressing the set button. When safe mode is engaged, the throttle does not respond and you will see the word safe displayed on screen. To deactivate safe mode, you will need to squeeze the brakes while in a stationary state. Once the safe mode icon disappears, you are free to accelerate. P10 is your cruise control. This function allows you to set the scooter to remain at a constant speed without re-engaging the throttle. This will be off by default, but you can turn this on using your set button. Once this is turned on, the speedometer icon will appear at the top of the main display. When you are ready to set your cruise mode on, keep a fixed speed for 8 seconds until the letter CCS displays on the screen to confirm. However, for this example, we will keep cruise control off. P11 prevents BMS cut. This function is to enable or disable the BMS cut mode. This mode is disabled by default. If this mode is turned on, when the battery is less than 20%, the scooter will automatically switch into eco mode. P12 is your display timer. This setting controls how long your display will stay turned on before turning off. The values of this setting can be changed from 0 to 30 seconds by simply pressing the set button. P13 is your display brightness. This setting controls how bright your screen will appear. The values of the setting can be changed from 1 to 5, 1 being the least bright and 5 being the most bright. P14 is the time. This setting controls your scooter's clock. To change this, press the power button and the hours will flash until you set the correct hour by pressing set. Then press the mode button to edit the minutes and the power button to confirm. Just keep in mind that this display uses military time. P15 controls the units of speed your display will show. You can switch between kilometers per hour or miles per hour by pressing the set button. P16 is your tire size. This setting controls your scooter's tire diameter being used. This should always be set to 13 inches. Any other setting could possibly make your mileage and speed display incorrectly. P17 is your battery voltage. This setting sets your scooter's battery voltage being used. The Dualtron X Limited uses an 84 volt battery, so this should not be changed. Lastly, we have P18, which is your pull pair slash speed magnets. This setting shows your scooter speed magnets being used. This should always be set to 15, so make sure you do not change this. And that's all we have today on how to fully use all of the functions on your i4 display. If you have any further questions or any tips yourself, make sure to leave them in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time.